That will move us on to uh, conduct of business. Um, before we begin, uh, obviously due to the audience that is here, who is here for item D, I'm going to ask that, that be moved up after the annual report from the Senior Advisory Board. So the folks that need to get home can do so. That, uh, any concerns from council? Um, city manager, anything else on the consent calendar? I'm C. I mean, I'm sorry, conduct of business? Apologize. Sure. Under conduct of business, staff will be pulling item 5C for um, future, uh, to agendize at a future meeting. That is the item in regards to taking a position on state proposition eight. Thank you, sorry for quoting it wrong. So uh, Madam City Clerk, if we can go ahead and start with the first item on conduct. Item 6A, receive the annual report from the Senior Citizens Advisory Board. Okay, Bill, this is a big audience, so yes, bring it I, home. I realize there's a lot of, can you hear me? Everybody here? Okay. Uh, Honorable Mayor and City Council, I'm here as the Chairman of the San Bruno <coughs> Senior Citizen Advisory Board, and I'm, uh, I'm going to start the report, and then I'm going to pass it on to a, a few of my, my helpers. I want to, if anybody, how many people know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on the, whoops, forgot myself, eight people on the board. There's Bill Hayes, which is behind me. We have Joanne Tracy, who's not here. We have Dorothy Carmichael, if everybody knows, might know, Herb Chu, Flory Green, and Barbara Lusayich. And Joanne Tracy, did I say that already? Maybe you did. Anyway, I skipped who? Karen. Karen? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Karen Horning. She's, she's, she's our treasurer, so I better not mess her up. Okay, so the Senior Advisory Board, the Senior Advisory Board provides input and makes recommendations to the City Council regarding programs and activities at the Senior Center. Members of the board work with staff to ensure that the Senior Center is a vibrant and welcoming place that contributes to the health and well-being of all older adults. A welcoming community center. The Senior Center welcomes 66,139 senior visitors from July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. Providing information and referral, the Senior Center responds to 228 requests for information regarding to insurance, food services, legal re referrals, social services, health, and housing. <laughs> now I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Bill Hayes, to say a few words. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Anytime. And usually every day. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the nutrition, serving nutritious and affordable meals. The Senior Center served 22,432 nutritious meals to seniors from July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. Uh, some of the meals that uh, we do serve, um, Salisbury steak with gravy, baked salmon, pork loin with applesauce, chicken scallopini, and the favorite uh, pork spare ribs with barbecue sauce. Some and of us haven't had dinner, Bill, but, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. That's, I said some of us haven't had dinner, but it sounds good. Yes. <laughs> and that is, that does get served with vegetables and salad too, and milk. <laughs> um, our folks really like it. We do about 100 meals a day. Uh, we, when we do a party themes also, um, we serve over 200. We just had our um, talent show and we served over 200 meals that day. Um, also, uh, addressing the transportation needs, the Senior Center uh, transported 2,622 seniors from their homes to the Senior Center from July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 
2018. Uh, this is a really important program. Otherwise, seniors would not be able to come to our center and enjoy the day. It's great that folks can just come get out of their house, come down, and enjoy uh, their day at the senior center. Next slide, please. Uh, some of our, um, this is a snapshot of the Senior Center's most popular programs. Uh, to total annual class attendance in 2017-18 was 54,846. Uh, some of our popular programs is the bingo, 12,586. Uh, we do the bingo on Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoons, and Thursday evenings. Also bocce ball, 4,000. 84 people, Zumba 3,327, line dancing 2,628, and hiking 1,850. A few of the other classes that people really enjoy are the um, ballroom dance, uh, the computer club, oil painting, uh, which if you ever get a chance to go down to the um, crafts room and you see these folks doing the oil paintings, they are doing a really, really nice job. Uh, the special events and parties, uh, they're always a big hit. Uh, we have the Halloween party coming up on October 31st, and that's always a favorite. Uh, we have many different exercise classes, yoga, uh, Zumba, uh, like what's on the report. So we do over about, we do over 30 programs a month. Uh, next slide, please. Invaluable volunteer help. In fiscal year 2017-18, we had 125 volunteers donated nearly 33,245 hours of volunteer service in the following programs and areas. Nutrition and lunch program, welcome desk, trips, bingos, and sports programs. Some of these folks get here at 6 a.m. and they don't leave till after the lunch is served. So they're helping uh, prepare the prepare the lunch, clean up after the lunch. Um, also at the welcome desk, the folks that are there at by 8 a.m. They answer many many questions that go on throughout the day. And uh, I will be turning the next slide over to Karen. Thank you. I was rather amazed that uh, he forgot who I am. I've been doing this for 24 years. <laughs> kind of amazing. <laughs> so mine is the cut and dried one. Next slide, please. Uh, the Senior Center fiscal uh, year. We're talking now 218 through 19, so that's the current year. Before this, we were talking about the previous year. So we're expecting to have a general fund of, of $1,010,502. We get grants from the county usually in transportation programs for nutrition and, and transportation of $213,365. We get uh, 23000 from the faculty facility rentals here, and we get a contribution from the Nutrition Site Council. Uh, last year it was 100000 This year we're anticipating 115000 uh, which may be a problem because we were closed for bingo for a number of months. So that still is tentative right now. In the expenditure summary, uh, we expect to spend every cent of that. Okay? <laughs> That's the way it should be, right? <laughs> and uh, the support now, uh, the Nutrition Site Council, as I said, gives the uh, the um, nutrition program, um, at least 100,000, and this year we're aiming for 115,000. And we also have other, uh, we also have other fundraisers. Uh, the cafe sell uh, sales; all that money goes to us, and we do uh, trips and we do other things. We're awfully busy here, and we enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, you stuck with me again. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know how many people were here over a year ago when a dump truck came down the hill here 
and forgot to turn the corner. They ran into the, this corner of the building, and it moved the stage on this side about four feet out this way. The other side, and it, it, the other side wasn't too badly beaten, but it, it, you wouldn't believe what it could do. And it, the dump truck was full of sand, so it, it really made a mess. Anyway, it's taken a while for them to get it done, but the senior programs and the services return to the senior center on Wednesday, March 7th, although the full construction was not completed. The new floors were installed. Actually, you had a council meeting here when we didn't have any floor. I hope you remember that, don't you? There wasn't any floor on, they hadn't put the finishing floor on yet when you had the first council meeting. The new floors were installed in the multi-purpose room and a new coat of paint. The seniors were happy to return to their homes. Since they had returned to the center, participation numbers have grown by 500 people per month. In fact, August numbers are, the, are at the seven-year all-time high, and we thank everyone involved in the reconstruction. And <coughs> actually, we have to thank St. Robert's Church because while this building was down, we served all the meals St. Bruno's, St. Bruno, St. Robert's, uh, I guess you call it there. What, what kind of room you call that? Cafeteria. Yeah. Anyway, and it, it, we, we were there for, I guess, what? How many, I don't know how many months. Two months? Two months before then, guess what? School started again, so they kicked us out. Anyway, <laughs> it's back, almost back to normal. We have just a few more things that have to be done yet, but it's a, a wonderful place to come to. An accomplishment in the past year. Worked with the Cappuccino High School leadership, the Interactive Club, Leo's Club, to allow for intergener... Really? Oh, boy, that's a big word. Intergenerational interaction with the senior population. Work with Public Works to complete the reconstruction at the senior center, including new stage, floors, paint, added community bulletin boards to the multi-purpose room, work with public works to complete the deck replacement to include new railings and benches, relocated all senior classes to St. Robert's Well, we know that, I already said that, returned all programs to the newly repaired and reopened senior center following completion of the repair work. <coughs> Presented at anti-bully seminars to provide seniors with skills and information to address unwelcome interactions. Help volunteers, recognition, luncheon, to thank all of our 120 volunteers. Now the goals, goals for next year. We expand educational seminars and services to include offerings catered to veterans, increase awareness of voluntary membership, program by expanding outreach and advertising. Partner with the San Mateo Adult School to add additional <coughs> language classes such as English as a second language and foreign languages. <coughs> Pardon me. Increase participation in existing programs such as this senior softball and initiate new active senior groups such as Viking Cycling Club, Marjan Club, and Brain Games and trivia groups. Ooh. Research quarterly Friday social events for the senior community and hold a memorial bocce ball tournament, which we did already. We'd had our first one a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, that concludes the presentation and I want to invite anybody who's 50 years or older to come on down. We have a good time down here and it's a great place to be. If there's any questions. Thank you for the presentation. Any questions or comments from council? If not, on behalf of the city council, thank you very much for all the work, all the effort, all the passion and the love that has gone into this facility and its programs from since the day it opened in 1987 to today. Thank you very much, Bill. Oh, you're welcome.